Let's do it. I played against Star Force's Pac-Man before. Yeah, what'd you think? I, I did that today. Oh, you played against him? Woo! I think I was stressing him out just because I was playing super defensively, but yeah. you know, defensively that, doesn't win games. It's what you, No, it does win games. Look, you have to play offensively too. Yeah. This is no slight to Star Force. I hate Pac-Man. I uh, how could you, you know what? I'll agree with this. Miss Pac-Man was a better game. Yeah, <laughs> yep, exactly, exactly. But Pac-Man, like if you if you have someone just like pick up like if someone who's pretty good at the game just pick it up and say play Pac-Man, the game's going to time more than often. Because like you have to run away, you have to get fruits up, you have to establish fire hydrant. And it's just like it's, it's a definitely a heavy setup character, yeah. more so than anybody else in the cast. Yeah. Because it takes three steps instead of one or two. Yeah, exactly. And then like at ledge, you know, you basically have Gordo on like crack, you know, so yeah. Gordo on crack. Poor D D D. Yeah, for real. Why isn't he a better character? Because he because we know now, Swiss, we know it's because he <laughs> stops low level now. lobbies, right? We know. Nintendo's like, oh, this Are is you how calling we me a low that. level lobby? No, no, I am. No. Nuh uh. Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? I was a I was kind of surprised he didn't go for an up smash there. Like, I think Star Force is a little bit in his head. He's trying to go mm. for these really big setups when a simple up smash could mm -hmm. do in that situation. Absolutely, Swiss. Here's my prediction. Yes. Star Force takes game one. Blue Flare takes game two. And then we're going to see an insane game three. Very intense. Oh. He fell for it. Oh my god, he's still alive. So tell me about Blue Flare. Is he your roommate? He's not my roommate. Just a friend? Just a friend. And he plays Peach. And he's very good. And he went to Binghamton and I went to Binghamton. So that's, the, that's the levels of connection. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Smash friends till the end. That's right. But now, you know, holding stage control, this is really hyper offense versus hyper defense, you know. But Peach just also has niche set setups, so give her the time to pull the turnips and, you know, magic might happen. This this stock is going so far into percentages. Yeah, this is two what minutes. What the heck just happened? Okay, all right. It was like the, <laughs> the, fire the fruit. Hydrant? It was a turn up into the fire yeah. hydrant, into the fruit, and the, <laughs> the fire hydrant went back into blue flare. He's already at 43%. It's like that first stock Ooh. never happened. Yep, absolutely. And now... Almost an even game here. You know, all it takes is one thing from Peach to get you up. Like, earlier I was playing uh, Lucas against uh, Blue Flare, and I got him up to, like, 50, and I'm like, cool. You know, I just can't get hit. I get hit once, I'm at, like, 60. I'm like, damn. That's the magic of Peach. That's the magic of Peach. But if you don't let her touch you, then she's going to struggle. Yeah. And, you know, Carpal Tunnel's coming for you. If you're playing Peach, it's it's on the way. Listen, better than Kazuya Carpal Tunnel. Uh, yeah, <laughs> true. At that point, you just really need a hitbox. Yeah. <laughs> and Star Force needs to start hitting back. He's at ledge more often than not now. Going back to center stage. Yeah, good job holding center stage by Blue Flare, and it pays off with the side beat. Oh, just making it back on that trampoline. The getup attack paying off. Uh-oh. Galag is up. Will he turn it into a bell? Not yet. There it is. Oh, he doesn't no. either. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Blue Flare is just jumping too much into Star Force. He mm. needs to play a lot more grounded because Peach's aerials are phenomenal, right? Right. But if he's going to start catching those by just throwing out the belt, then yeah, just play a lot more defensively. Wait for him to throw that out first. Right. If you're doing those, if you're doing those jump short cancel, uh, uh, those short hop jump cancels into float. You've got what the heck was that? You've got oh, it was the, the water. You've got to do it, or else you're going to get hit by Bell. You have to stay low to the ground. You're absolutely right. Dave, right now. Look, those floating lessons, they have to come in handy. <laughs> you didn't pay a million dollars for them not to use them. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, that the strawberry? Stopping his momentum? There comes the Nair. He's sending Star Force back out. Misses the turn up. Oh, down Still air. not enough, though. 174. Down air covers so much at ledge, though. It just hangs there forever. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Honestly, not a terrible idea. Yeah. Because Star Force has just kind of been forcing oh, out options. Uh, the bell all over again. Ding, ding, ding. You can't attack that. You can't get up attack the bell. You can't nope. do it. No, not an option. You gotta wait. You, you gotta, gotta roll. But where are we rolling on to? Now we're rolling on to... I, th I think we gotta give Jolie a little credit.
Yeah. It looks like Star Force is uh, doing a good job against Blue Flare. Yeah. This is virtually even here. I agree. I agree. You know, they both have the kill power to, like, it's, it's basically even. It's basically even. Peach has the setups, Pac has the bell. But are we going to see another bell here in Star Force's favor? Or is Blue Flare going to figure something out here? Three minutes left on the clock. Ah. This could be a timeout. It's this, only 151. I think you're right, Swiss. I think this is going to be a timeout. <laughs> Oh, 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 dude, oh no my punish? Heart. What, what, what are you doing? Punish it's, that! Doesn't need to punish it. Oh, okay, just kind of roll through that. And you know what, not a stitch face, but, oh. all right, through the stage. Oh, uh, another trampoline. Yeah, good good job by Blue Force racking up the percent. Missed that kill confirm on a random upbeat from uh, Star Force. Blue uh -oh. Flare not able to actually catch that apple, though. It is pretty precise. The key, though, but you know what? What's a key to a crown? So true. And what's a god to a king, you know? All right. What's, what's an icon to a player? <laughs> nice. Uh-oh. Return nah. to the 80s. Like, th those three hits were 35 damage. And, like, there was more off of it that Blue Flare missed. It's like, wow, this character really racks it up. Yeah. And right now, turnups at ledge. Ken throwing out some options, forcing Star to just wait. Yeah. Man, he's to make it out. Max Rage forward air here is going to kill. So he's going to look for it. Oh, searching for the back air is actually down air, but Blue Flare, a good job positioning himself. Oh, just out of the range. Okay, no, you have that. A, that was not a stitch. Okay. Line. Some really good DI here. He's still going to make it back. Oh, barely, though, barely. Oh, no. Okay. This doesn't matter. Oh my god, the slow melon. Yeah. Honeydew. The <laughs> worst of the melons. You think honeydew is the worst melon? Honeydew is the worst fruit. It's either Ooh. like really nice fresh or it tastes like nothing. I, There's no in between. I can agree with it. I'll eat honeydew, you know, but I agree that it's like not optimal. Yeah, it's honey ew. Okay, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, shields the apple. That's a good fruit. Star now, looking for that forward air, last. good parry. That That's okay, he's parry. got one whole stock to play with. And Jolie taking Super Sonic <laughs> to game <laughs> yes. three down there. And the time it's taken us to get through two stocks of this game. You should start playing for a timeout, Blue Flare. Timeout, Blue Flare. You should start playing for a timeout. Star Force knows this is going to happen. Probably both players in the thick of it, though, not realizing how close they are to the timer. Yeah. Uh-oh, he double jumped. I think Blue Flare doesn't really want to go for a timeout. Instead, wants to keep racking on this damage when he should be playing evasively 72% already. Yeah, I don't blame him. It could get scary. To oh, no. not enough. Okay, good DI, good DI. Get back to the ledge. Get back on stage. No. Right back it? to the bell. Oh, he gets out of it. Okay. It's 24 seconds on the clock. And a 30% difference. Blue Flare, you don't need to do this. You don't need to go in. Play lame, win the game, go to game three. Why are you going oh, in? He went hydrant. in. I thought for sure that force broke that hydrant. And Same here. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, we are going to see a game three. I think this is going to be hype. I agree, but there's a maybe a more hype game three going on right now.
full game. We're still three stocks to two here. Two stocks to two. There we go. All right, but you know what? Star Force still has quite a amount. Well, you know, Blue Flare still has an opportunity here. 75%, though. That's a lot of extra credit for Star Force. Yeah, absolutely. But one combo with Peach, and you're sitting at 60. And it's, this game looks like it's going even more conservatively than the last from both players. But so far, Swiss, my prediction has been correct. I think so, too. I think Not as hype as I thought it was going to be, though. Okay. You promised me hype. Look, it's a Pac-Man, all right, versus Peach. It can only be so hype, Swiss. <laughs> there will be a lot of running away and pulling items, okay? It's, it's only going to take him to the last stock. Oh. Uh, Ooh, all right. He's not going to drop that confirm anymore. Mm. He dropped that twice last game, but I think only because the percentages were just too high for each player. Mm. We are going to have to go see Mr. E and Fiestero after this, but right now, we want to see Blue Flare start to bring this back. Star Force, he's always a gem of a player, but I love seeing new blood rise up. Yeah, absolutely, but down a whole stock, it's not looking good for Blue Flare, but maybe some combo coming out of this, finds the back air and the fire, frying pans the hydrant, almost pays off, finds a down tilt to forward air, some good ledge trapping coming out from Blue Flare here. He's not gonna try and, uh, you know, try and tank that super armor, but oh, oh god, super god. combos here. What was that? Que bambola. What was that? Okay, you know what? Yeah. He's not going to fall for that. This is a nice trick there from Star Force. Oh, this could be it. It is not. Good job by Star Force waiting out his own Hydra and stalling low so he doesn't get hit by it. Okay, recovery and high. Can you chase? Oh. Yeah. Kind of. Ooh. Oh, the bell is out. Beware. Yep. Did Blue Flare eat his uh, fruits and vegetables today? <laughs> Did he get five servings? Of lemon. Uh-oh. Just lemon? Yes. This is the Star Force trying to get the bell back out, and he does. Oh, oh my god, that, that bounced so high. No, Star Force afraid to commit to going that high, knowing he wouldn't get anything, just decides to hold the bell low and stun his own fire hydrant. I wonder what the tech is there, Swiss. I think it I think it will stun you on impact. If you run into the hydrant while well, it's... If you, if you run into it too high, yes. No, oh, it's pretty neat. Okay, turn ups back at. Blue flared. No, okay. He's going to dodge that. One more fair. Here we and go. This is still doable here, but Blue Flare needs to do these like kind of zero to deaths. Does yeah. he have that on lock? Well, we're going to find out because if there's ever a time for one, it's now. He just can't be below Pac Man. If not, he's yeah. going to get a fire hydrant to the face. Yeah, Peach up air, although super disjointed. Not the greatest for catching a 0% pack. Uh oh. Oh, he's oh, he looking saw that. for it. He's looking for it. This is going to be difficult with this much rage, though. That apple nearly sniping yeah. him. He's not going to jump up. Blue Flare. Kind of fishing right now, and Star Force knows it. I like fishing, but you really need a couple beers for that. Yeah, true. And I don't think Star Force or Blue Flare has drank nearly enough. Yeah, you're not allowed to drink at Xeno here. Instead, you, you got to win. You can drink after brackets. And you know what? He can go drink air. now. He's out of brackets. Yeah. Star Force taking a 2 1. Absolutely, Swiss. A good back air coming out. And, you know.